Welcome to UMass Boston, Boston's only public research university. My name is Ryan. I'm a sophomore environmental science major here, as well as a tour guide. And today I'm going to be taking you guys on a tour. Uh, to start, we're right now in the Integrated Science Complex, also known as the ISC. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit what I do as a research assistant here in one of my labs. So here we are in the lab that I work in as a research assistant, as well as conducting my own research looking into oxygen production in the Boston Harbor. Um, the Integrated Science Complex is home to a variety of different labs from biology, chemistry, physics, psychology, environmental science, you name it, there is a lab for it in this building. It is also home to our partnership with UMass Boston and the Dana-Farber Institute it, with the Center for Personalized Cancer Therapy, where they are doing active cancer research in this building. Our next stop is going to be at the Quinn Administrative Building, and so let's get gone going. So the building we're in right now is our Quinn Administrative Building, and true to its name, it is mostly an administrative building, but it does house a lot of great resources for students on campus. It houses our University Police Department. It also does house our transportation services. So what that is, if you are commuting in and out of Boston and you're taking the train, that's where you're gonna get a really nice student discount price on those tickets, as well as you can get parking passes if you're driving into campus. We do also have our University Health Services in here. We offer physical, mental, and dental to all of our students. Students. We accept most insurances. If you uh, don't have insurance or need uh, some other supplemented insurance, you can get it through the school. This building does also house our clinical center for uh, education and research, which we're about to go see right now. We are in the brand new Center for Clinical Education and Research. It is a 10,000 square foot facility where our nursing students learn their clinical skills as well as run through simulations with instructors. All right, so right now we're outside of the Healy Library, which is connected to the rest of the campus through our catwalk system, which connects every building on campus by the second floor, which is really convenient for whenever the weather is bad or rainy, or you just don't want to be outside. Um, but right now I'm gonna take you guys in and show you one of my favorite study spots on campus. In the Healy Library, we have a ton of great resources for students. We have free tutoring for all of our 100 and 200 level courses, as well as quiet study floors and group study floors. We have an IT department available to all students, as well as a cafe if you ever need to juice up uh, throughout your studying. Um, our next stop is going to be our McCormick Building. This is our McCormick Building. It is one of our academic buildings on campus. It is home to our business school as well as our Beacon Fitness Center. As you'll come to learn, most of our academic buildings on campus are integrated learning buildings, so you won't just have your chemistry building and your arts building. You'll have a well-rounded class system going through each building. Um, what we're about to go see right now is the uh, Beacon Fitness Center. So right behind me is our Beacon Fitness Center. It is our on-campus gym that's free for all UMass Boston students. It's fully equipped with cardio equipment, weightlifting, a warm-up and cool-down room, where they actually host a lot of classes. So if you're interested in yoga or Zumba, um, there is also a full locker room and shower if you just have a quick hour in between class and you wanna shower and get changed and go work out. Um, our next stop is actually gonna be the Venture Development Center, which is a program that's really cool and exciting, helps fund young entrepreneurs on campus. There are many other tour guides on campus, and I want to introduce you to my friend and colleague, Vanessa. Hi. Right now, we are in the Venture Development Center in our Wheatley building. It's one of many experiential learning opportunities on campus to help kickstart your future careers. UMass Boston offers many professional development options, such as one-on-one -on -one mentoring, uh, resume building, workshops, and more. And we can get going to our next stop. Behind us is previously home to our science programs. We are currently in the works of renovating it into a new green space to create a more welcoming environment for our students. We are currently in our campus center, the hub of our university. This building has a ton of great resources for students on campus. For example, we have our One Stop, which acts as a quicker version of our Bursars and Registrar's Office, as well as student activities, which can get you discounted tickets to anything happening on campus. As well as on the third floor, we do have our club spaces if you wanna get involved in our campus community. And we do offer the Ross Center for Disabilities. If you have any accommodations that you need to get fulfilled, you can go right to them. And in this building, we do have our largest dining facility on campus, which we can go and take a look at right now. 
We are currently standing in our food court. We have a variety of options to eat from, such as vegan vegetarian, made-to-order deli sandwiches, sushi, and Burger King, as well as our Dunkin' Donuts. Overall, this is a really great place to eat and hang out with your friends. Let's head out. This is University Hall. This building holds one of our largest auditorium that holds up to 500 students. In addition, this is also where our arts department is. In this building, we have a black box theater, two recital halls, an art gallery, as well as sculpting, dancing, and painting classes. Around the corner, we also have our Beacon Cafe, another great place to eat on campus. We also have really beautiful classrooms. We'll show you one now. We are currently standing in one of our lecture halls. This is what your classroom might look like if you're required to take a Gen Ed. I personally took Psychology 101 here, and Ryan took a Chemistry class in here too. This is the recital hall. In this room, we hold orchestra concerts, band recitals, as well as theater productions. The best part about this room is the acoustics are so great that anyone's voice can sound perfect. You should come and try it out yourself. Boston is a sports city. Let's head to the home of our student athletes. So here we are in the Clark Athletic Center, home to our school's sports teams. We're a D3 school and we offer a variety of sports to both men and women here. Really cool thing that they do in this building is offer free court and free skate to students. And if you're looking for something a little bit more casual, we do offer intramural sports for both men and women here. Clark Athletic Center is right next to the residence halls. I lived there last year and I want to show you guys what those are like. We're now standing in our East Residential Halls. This building holds our dining commons, study pods, tutoring writing center, and our printing stations. The best part for me for living in dorms was how easy it was to make friends. Here we are in one of the common rooms in the brand new residence halls. They're a really great place to get work done, study, just hang out with your friends. Um, in the res halls, we do offer a variety of floor plans. We have singles, doubles, triples, and quads. All of our triples and quads do come with their own private bathrooms, and each floor does come with their own community bathrooms for everyone to use. Um, I chose to live in a quad last year. I loved it. There was tons of space. Um, me and my roommates all had our own areas to the room. But right now, we're going to head to our last stop on this tour. Thanks for joining us today on this tour. We hope to see you at UMass Boston soon. Bye! Bye.